What is one of the first things you think about when you hear the word ocean? It's usually the life within it. But what if I told you that by the year 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish? With such a shocking prediction, why are we not doing more to help save our planet? But before you think to yourself, I'm not the problem, or one person can't make a difference, think again. The EU stated that the average citizen produces 31 kilograms of plastic packaging per year, which is enough to greatly pollute the ocean and risk many innocent lives along the way. But you can stop that. You see, we are one of the remaining generations that decides the future of our existence. We are the generation that can choose to prevent this issue from being even more devastating than it already is. You can stop the suffering of so many ocean creatures, and eventually, our own species. Due to the plastic in our oceans being consumed by fish, we are actually consuming the plastic as well. Now at this current moment in time, it is known that consuming plastics can cause oxidative stress, which damages our bodies. This is nowhere near as bad as it could get though. One of my favourite quotes is, It is the worst of times, but it is the best of times, as we still have a chance. This stresses the fact that what has happened in the ocean is overwhelmingly devastating and dangerous for the survival of many species, even our own. But it also gives us hope in the fact that if we pull together, we can beat this. Even though it seems almost impossible. Plastic damages our planet. Some of the most beloved creatures in the world are turtles. Well, do you think that a turtle can tell the difference between a plastic bag and a jellyfish? Just imagine the devastating effects. We use too many single-use plastics every day, fact. Water bottles, brunch bars, bags of sweets, pasta pots, chocolate bars, knives, forks, straws, styrofoam shopping bags, single-use plastic containers, the list is endless. It needs to stop. So what now? Recycling, you may ask. Recycling does help. However, it actually isn't as effective as it seems. I am not saying don't recycle, as recycling is the best method to dispose of plastic. I am saying that it is best to avoid any plastic at all costs. This means buying fruit and vegetables not wrapped in plastic, buying reusable water bottles and straws, and not giving the industry that is destroying the world we know and love the funding to continue to do so. This change starts with you. I will leave you with this thought. The greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it.